on Anthony uh, Davis and the injury, and uh, if you got a chance to speak to him at halftime or after the game. Yeah, I talked to him. Uh, he just aggravated what he had last week. Um, you know, just calling it an Achilles strain, and uh, he'll have an MRI tomorrow, and we'll, have, we'll know more then. Frank, presuming he's going to be out at least short term uh, and then kind of baking in tonight's game, what are the things that you guys have to do uh, without him, and, and how did that play a factor tonight? Yeah, I mean, well, we lost we lost the lead, uh, you know, in the in the first half, you know, when we were at full strength. Um, you know, they went on a run, and uh, you know, we didn't just we just didn't get a chance to to counter that in the second half uh, the way we we normally would. Um, but we you know we played games without him, and we won games without him. And you know, if he's going to miss time, well, which we don't know yet, um, you know, we got plenty of firepower to win games. Okay, Bill Oram, please. Hey, Frank. Um, you know, over over the last week, you know, obviously, AD, you held AD up for a couple of games he played on Friday. Um, what were the conversations like with the training staff about what the possibility of what what an aggravation could look like, or what the, the possibilities of injury it further were? I mean, was was there a concern that that he could do damage by playing on it? Uh, yeah, you know, there's always concern, and they're not going to put them out there if he's at risk. You know, so. Um, you know, the medical team clears in the play. He plays. Oh, my apologies. Dave McMenamin. Hey, Frank, what can you tell us about AD Spirits when you did speak to him um, tonight? And how do you feel like the team will approach this, even if there's a short amount of time, no time, or whatever? How, how's the team going to rally around this? Yeah, well, you know, we're going to win games. You know, that that's the, the first thing we're going to do. Uh, his spirits were good. He just he felt like he just kind of tweaked it, re, re aggravated it, um, what he had last week. And, um, you know, hopefully it's nothing long term. You know, we'll see what the MRI says tomorrow. Um, yeah, but he was in good spirits at halftime. Okay, Kyle Goon, please. Hey, Frank. Um, you know, another not great shooting night for you guys and, and put on three pointers. Um, you know, what. Are, are you guys talking about internally and, and how to kind of turn that around? And, you know, if there becomes a situation where AD does miss some time, how critical is that going to be for, for your offense to find ways to compensate by picking that up? Yeah, well, we have great depth. So, uh, you know, we will remain confident. Um, you know, we are struggling to shoot the ball from the perimeter for, uh, I guess, a couple of weeks now. And, um, you know, it's one of those things you just stay the course. You continue to focus on execution and generating quality shots and, uh, you know, have our, our guys continue to honor their, their work. And, um, you know, the numbers come back around. But, you know, we want to continue to emphasize uh, who, who we've been, which is, you know, attack the paint uh, and any kind of overhelp. We play paint to great basketball. It's been a strength of ours the last couple of years. And, um, you know, we got we to generate more of them is what we got to do. And, you know, if we, we generate more high-quality shots, um, obviously you see the, the numbers look different than tonight, you know, getting outscored by 39 at the three point line, uh, it was a big reason why we, we lost this game. So, you know, we just got to remain patient and, uh, you know, that'll come around. Okay. Yovan, please. Hey Frank, um, Kyle stepped in in the second half in, in place of AD and then had 19 points and eight rebounds. Uh, I'm curious what you thought of his performance, you know, from that point on, uh, and how confident you are in, in case he, you know, if AD does miss time and, and Kyle starts or, or has a bigger role in the offense, how confident are you in, in him kind of assuming a, a larger role? Yeah, Kuz, Kuz was great tonight. You know, he stepped in obviously and, and made shots when guys are struggling to make shots. Always plays extremely hard, you know, with great energy and. You know, that's who we want to be. That's one of an identity piece. You know, they went, we want all our guys to exemplify. Um, you know, but we got a lot of guys that, that, uh, will step up. You know, um, you know, if AD misses some time, um, you know, the guys will step up and, you know, it's not going to, it's not going to fall on, on any one person. You know, we got a lot of firepower and a lot of resources. Okay. Dan Wakey, please. Hey, Frank, a couple of quick questions. Did, did they say anything about ruling out? Um, a tear or any of that stuff in the initial really strain. That's all I can give you guys. And, and, and in the moment when it happens and you see him walk the way he walked up the court, what's going through your mind? I know you have a game to coach, but um, knowing that 
he's been dealing with an Achilles and stuff like that. What was kind of your initial sort of reaction to it? And do you think it affected your team? Uh, you know, I don't think it affected our team. I think we're, we're ready to, to compete and win a game. Uh, we just didn't play well enough. <clears throat> and, you know, obviously with any time any of our players have, have something uh, happen to them, you, know, you have concern um, that you're, you're hopeful that it's, uh, it's nothing major. Is he fly? I'm sorry, Frank. Is he flying back to LA to have the MRI? Do you know? I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. I really don't know. Okay, we'll just take a couple more. Michael Duarte, please. Hey, Frank. It's been over a year since the last time you played in altitude at Denver. Obviously, you got them on a, a neutral court in the Western Conference Finals. So, did that play any factor at all? Did you happen to notice it with the guys at all? And did it did it play into the game in the second quarter and even in the second half? Yeah, I mean, I, the only thing I say is, you know, we always try to burn a few timeouts in that first quarter, uh, you know, so everybody can get their legs under us. And I, I think that worked out well to start the game. Um, you know, what it does is makes you vulnerable when they're on a run. You know, as to you know how much you want to use timeouts is to stop the run, and you know I had burned a few, so um, you know I think that's that's the only way it may have impacted the game. But I think once once guys got their uh, their initial wind, that that first wind uh, out of the way, uh, I don't think it was a factor. Okay, and actually, um, no other questions, so you're all set, Frank. Thank you. Thank you.